everyone, this is Ina with Inishka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we're making something so delicious and something what I make quite a bit often and I was dreaming to share with you but I wasn't 100% sure should I do <laughs> or should I? And today is the day I decide to share with you how I make liver pate. It's some of those recipe when some people absolutely love and some people absolutely hate and there's no one in between unfortunately i'm so excited about this recipe i cannot tell you enough how much organ meats are good for you and <laughs> and how much liver unappreciated in the united states for most people i am not say for everybody but if you go sometimes to a good restaurant as appetizer you will find chicken pate or some some kind of pate. In fact, today I'm using beautiful, gorgeous goat liver from farmer's market and I'm buying quite a bit often and make for my babies. In fact, when we are low on iron, we never have a problem. I never have to do a drops. Um, my children, usually I level up for them with just a pate. So my baby Matron, I enjoy liver pate quite a bit often. So today I will show you how to make it so easy and for some people it's scary they buy it in tiny jar for super expensive that pate because it sounds should be expensive but really it's nothing more than you usually make a smoothie it's easy I will show you how to do and here's what we need so the liver the main ingredients and just very few things to make flavor onion any onion you can use but I do like red onion since it's so has much deep red color I think red onion and it's sweeter it gets better results carrots carrots and onion <laughs> I think my mom always make liver carrots and onions and I think from my childhood and still till today my favorite ingredient in her uh, in her fry liver with onion and carrots is carrots I think the first thing I will pick then eat carrots so I make sure I always have plenty of carrots give sweetness and baby eats love it and as often I love to have entertain people in my house and I always have if I have on hand a serve to to people with some cracker or bread or really a nice some piece of cucumber I love as well and as ingredients may surprise you may not it's apple a little bit of apple I do ratio uh, one cup of uh, carrots one cup of onion and half cup of apples and I have about um, one pound and three quarters of liver and it's so rustic it's not very it doesn't have to be very proportionally um, so if you have one and a half pound on if you have happens two pound of liver any liver in fact can work lamb beautifully works calf liver uh, beef liver but goat today it's gorgeous also bottom Irish bottom yellow look how beautiful um, golden column and uh, that's the good butter it's the key ingredients for, for this recipe and as spice goes it's salt um, pepper salt and little bit of tarragon sometimes I add thyme um, another ingredient sage would go well and um, it's not my first pick I think thyme or tarragon or major that would be my first choice but anything dry uh, or even fresh herbs it's nice addition to this simple pate and to the pan with heavy bottom frying pan we add about two tablespoons of butter. Baby needs all that good fat. <laughs> Once you see it starts nice caramelization, it's, you see the beautiful whole pong, this brown thing. It's a um, all flavor is here. <laughs> we don't want to lose any. So now at this point I like to add apples and spice tarragon. 
I love post Mel Kerrigan. I think all French cuisine has tarragon in some ways, in some dishes, right? About one teaspoon. And apples give juice and sweetness. In fact, a lot of sweetness here going on. Carrots is sweet, cooked onion is sweet, apple sweet. No wonder why my baby loves <laughs> pate. Now low the heat and cover with uh, cover. Cut in chunks. Sometimes liver has some skin that you have to peel, but this one already clean. Ah, oh, maybe one piece already clean. You don't need to worry about anything. And at this point, I see I need a little bit liquid. I'll add water, just about one quarter of cup. Cover and cook for another few minutes. Time to add. Oh yeah. I have to mention about one very important thing about liver. You do not want to overcook. Many people attempt to overcook just like shrimp. It's very crucial to not overcook. Otherwise become dry, chewy, you don't want. Even we're going to puree that and blend all together. Still, better to cook proper way and don't be, um, be generous on bottom. If you feel you need a little bit more, add more. And add flavor always in the end when the carrots is done. Because carrots can be <laughs> overcooked and can be soft and extra soft, but you do not want overcooked flavor. Also about liquid. Since I'm making for babies, I attempt to add a little bit of water. But it's nice to add wine, and I do this quite a bit often as well. White wine, any the one you like to drink, it's nice to add. Depends what you uh, what you like, but with water it works as well. So it's cooked. Now I like to move to the play, uh, play just to cool down faster. With all juices. Oh yes, you can tell it's cooked. And it's delicious to eat as it is. Mm -hmm. After it's cooled down slightly, we can now puree. Let's check. Let's taste. It's enough salt. who don't like liver, I feel so sorry because you're missing out. The umami flavor, the sweetness, richness, and just so, so good. I think it's perfect. And now what I like to do, I like to serve a nice, beautiful platter with some homemade bread, the sourdough bread. I will link below the recipe for my bread. A nice with French bread baguette and some vegetables. And it's nice appetizer. Like a mousse. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy this beautiful healthy appetizer. And as always, I ask you for like, subscribe, also visit my Patreon page and I will link below and also in description similar related recipe and blog on this recipe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.